we'll need to sign for them soon as well. Just sign there next to number 27, please. Dear Mr Barton, we would first like to congratulate you on winning the lucky phone call. We enjoyed organising it just as much as I'm sure you enjoyed receiving it. We would, however, like to apologise for the circumstances of your prize due to the sudden death of Bert Strange on Sunday and regret to tell you that, unfortunately, the signed violin awarded to you that was Mr Strange's very first violin will only be given to you for one week and thereafter be kept away in a museum and only touched with protective gloves. We would like to invite you backstage where you will meet with his duet partner, Jenna Janes Even, at the exclusive tribute show dedicated to the renowned violinist. A black limousine will be here to pick you up at 5pm. Please dress smart for this occasion. Kind regards, Josephine Harris. Oh, are you feeling so guilty about me buying you all that coke and milk that you rushed out to buy me an early Christmas present? <laughs> Sadly not. We had good deeds done on notice. You've got a friend in me, that's for sure. I just got a letter inviting me to meet Tinny and T backstage. I volunteered at a charity in Glasgow called Little Voices. Oh, I didn't know you'd won that. Hey, given you're receiving all that, eh? Look at you. In conversation with the rich and famous. Hey, it's onwards and upwards from here, I tell you. I always knew you'd make it. Just didn't know what as. Won't be meeting him, though. Died on Sunday. Oh, uh, Sorry to hear your bad news, mate. Hey, he wasn't that guy I heard you listening to last night, was he? Yeah, that was him. Listen, I've got to get ready for tonight. My ride will be here soon. Um, I think there's been some mistake. My name's Drew. I want a chance to meet you backstage. Oh. I can get you some water if you want to. <gasps> no, no, sorry. Uh, I don't know if you've been told the situation, but our violinist has dropped out at the last minute. Our sort of guy has completely let us down. Uh, I see you have a violin. Uh, Do you play? Would you like to play? Yeah, um, I'd love to, but you know, I'm just starting out and I wouldn't want to disappoint everyone on such a No, no, don't worry. It's, it's just a short performance. Honestly, you'd be fine. Uh, he was such a fun, full of life kind of guy, and that's how we want to remember him. This is just a. Sit down. Take five minutes. Take a breather. Warm up. He'll be fine. Thank you. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs>
be back with you shortly. Thank you. Thank you. It's really that you have it. To tell you we're a really big fan of his. You try to sound like him, don't you? It's a bit of an obvious imitation in my eyes, but they adore you. Yeah, thanks. Yes, and I'm, to be honest, I feel terrible for firstly interrupting your lucky phone call, and now Spoiling your debut performance. Oh, there's no need to apologise. I did record the conversation. So I do have some memorabilia. I'm not going to sell on eBay or anything. It's my own personal little memory. I mean, it's quite something to be the last fan that heard his voice. I'm going to have to ask you to give me that recording. I can't do that. It's my last bit of inspiration I have left. I'm writing a fiction piece. This really is my last shot at success. I'll edit out the gunshot, which comes later. So I can see you've just come here for some twisted personal games and some, some film peeps. Is that how it is? I heard your conversation with Mr. Strange. You just sounded very angry and jealous. I can play it for you if you'd like. Exact words. I just find it so strange that moments afterwards he was found dead. But don't worry, we are little secrets. He probably tried to shoot him, that didn't work, so then he resorted to electrocuting him and then covering up the truth. Get out! Get out! What is Mr. Strange's last few words? Quick! 